Peace and prosperity, beauties. It's your girl, Tay. And I'm back with a new video. So, guys, I did the duck flower challenge. And I'm going to add in a few clips of me during going through the whole purge. But I do want to talk about the duck flower. Um, The duck flower cleanse is basically a cleanse that's supposed to clear all the mucus out of your body. Now, going into this cleanse, I knew that it was going to be intense, but I thought, I don't know. I just thought, like, my body was made different. Like, I could I could take it because I do a lot of detoxes. So, I was like, okay, my body can take it. I'm not going to be overwhelmed. Da, da, da. I was definitely overwhelmed. It was definitely intense. It was not what I expected because a lot of people were saying they were um, defecating. They were throwing up. They were, um, their nose was running. Their eyes was running. They was running out of every hole, basically. But what I did was two days before I did the duck challenge, I um detox my stomach out. So I cleaned everything out down there. And once I did that, during the duck um the duck cleanse, the duck flower cleanse, I was only throwing up. Guys, I threw up for four hours straight. Do you hear me? Four hours straight. Maybe five. Four to five hours straight. It was four hours straight, guys. I was throwing up nonstop every 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes it was 10 minutes, sometimes it was 15. I was trying to keep count, but I could not do it. When I tell y'all after this cleanse, I now I timed it very well. They said it was going to be a total of eight hours when I started, I took the duck flower at 10.30 to be exact. When the duck flower started working was an hour and 30 minutes later, which was um 12 o'clock. It started working at 12 exact. I threw up my first time at 12. The first time, cool. I threw up. I sat there maybe about a good another 20 minutes to start throwing up again. Okay, so from 12 to 5. I was throwing up. No, 5.30. 12 to 5.30, I was throwing up. Back to back, back to back, back to back. So, as soon as 5.30, 5.45 hit, everything was gone. I was no longer throwing up. None of that. I was like, what the heck is going on here? How did that happen? Now, it's day two after I took it, and my body is still a little dehydrated. My mouth keeps getting super dry right here. When I woke up this morning, my mouth was so dry and crusty. That's how I know my body is dehydrated. My body is super dehydrated. I've been trying to drink electrolytes. I've been drinking water. I've been drinking Powerade. I mean, Gatorade, Zero. I've been trying to drink everything to stay hydrated, but I think I'm going to have to go get an IV at the, um, the IV spa or something. I think I'm going to have to end up going to get an IV because... When I tell y'all I am super dehydrated, like my mouth getting dry right now while I'm just talking. It's just drying out. Now that's a uh an apple or something I had ate. But my mouth is drying out right now. As I'm talking, it's just drying out. Because my mouth is super dry. See, y'all see that? How dry it is. My mouth is so dry. I'm dehydrated right now. And my black spots right here getting Shaggier, but yeah, I've been trying to rehydrate my body. It's been hard to rehydrate my body for these last two days because I um, detox so much that, and then the fact is, I detox so much, I haven't pooped in like a day. So I was like, Am I constipated? But I'm not because I don't have nothing in my body to come out. I don't move, removed everything from my body. So it's like, what in my body i'm like my mind is not catching up with the body so my mind is like hold on what the hell going on and my body is like who i feel good like the second the first day like yesterday when i tell y'all i felt so refreshed in the morning i still feel refreshed it's just my dehydration is bothering me which is making me dizzy and stuff like that so i'm gonna go get me an iv i might try to go to uh CVS or something and get a liquid IV before I try to go to the spa and get the uh, IV put in my arm. But I need to be rehydrated because I know my body is dehydrated. But I'm about to insert some clips so y'all can see like me going through the process. And do not talk about how down bad I look. I know I was looking down bad, baby. I, I was looking real down bad, y'all. I was in my room. I was in my bed. 
I was just slumped over talking. Like, I was, these was videos I posted on my TikTok, but I'm gonna post them for y'all too. Let me tell y'all something. That duck flower detox ain't no joke. I took mine this morning at 10 30. It's now 12 52. <clears throat> the purge started around 12 o'clock. <clears throat> I've been throwing up mucus and <clears throat> stomach acid. I don't threw it like four times. It's not super intense because I didn't eat nothing. I haven't ate nothing in like maybe the last 16 hours. I ain't ate <clears throat> since like maybe I ate two oranges at like 10 o'clock last night. <clears throat> and I had ate my main dinner probably around like uh, four or six, between four and six. I don't really know the time, <clears throat> but I want to say maybe like five or something. I had ate dinner. Bro. <clears throat> I just keep doing this because I can feel the mucus in my throat. My nose been running, but not super bad. <clears throat> but it's cool. It's getting it up out of me. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um, the mucus, I can feel it right here. I don't throw up mucus like three times. I've been throwing up. And it's better if you don't. If you don't eat before the cleanse. It's going to be better for you. Like, you ain't going to be throwing up food and all that extra stuff. Because, <clears throat> and I did a, a, a natural detox two days ago for, um like, my stomach. So, I haven't been pooping or nothing since I started detox. Because I had detox two days before. So, <clears throat> if you do that, <clears throat> it'll just be the mucus coming up out your body and it won't be as intense. <clears throat> okay, so as far as my body, I, I feel good. Like, I don't feel bad. Um, like I don't have a fever or nothing like that. I just feel nauseous and like the nauseousness do go away. It come and goes like I'm saying like every, I'm going to say 20 minutes, it'll come and go. And then I, I burp and I feel like I got to throw up. I still feel the mucus and stuff collecting and coming up in, in my body. And I can feel a little rattling in my chest when I talk. So I know it's about to, it's coming up. Um, still no pooping, still just, um, throwing up. The throwing up has been constant since 12 a.m. I'm at p.m. this afternoon. So it's been two hours since I've been throwing up. Um, it do come and go every 15 minutes. And I just threw up maybe like two minutes ago before I made this video. But <clears throat> I'm trying to stay hydrated. But every time I put some water in my body, it comes back out. Okay, guys, I'm four hours into the detox. Um, it's 412 right now. I started purging at 12 o'clock. I have been throwing up ever since 12. It's now 412, and I just threw up like two minutes ago. <clears throat> My body still, I don't feel that much mucus left in here, but it got a little something left. So I feel like I'm going to throw up maybe about three or four more times. Hopefully it's over by 5.36 because I originally took it at 10.30 this morning. So I could be done by midday, like 6 o'clock. So I can finish off, you know, doing what I'm going to do for my kid for today. He want to do some stuff. And I started early this morning because I wanted to go ahead and get it done with. So hopefully I'm done by 6. It's 4. 13 right now i feel a little bit better but still throwing up like i can't i'm trying to eat fruit so that i can hydrate my body it will not stay down trying to um drink water to hydrate my body it will not stay down i've been drinking spring water trying to eat some um citrus fruit some oranges nothing won't stay down so if y'all know anything that i can eat or drink that'll stay down let me know because I'm trying to rehydrate my body from all the um, throwing up. So as y'all see on those videos, your girl was out of it. Your girl was down bad, real bad, real bad. Y'all see I was clearing my throat a lot. It was mucus coming up in my throat. And it was just a lot, y'all. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. I'm still a little dehydrated, like I said. But I feel so much better. My body feel better. My muscles is tight on my back, though. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. I might even give me a little massage while I'm there getting the IV. But nevertheless, as far as my health doing, I feel good. I feel 
super good. I'll be having a lot more energy in the morning. Usually, your girl be sluggish, but I have a lot more energy. And I've been on Bloom. Bloom was tearing my butt a new hole during that detox. That Bloom, and it's nasty. The girls lied about it being good. That Bloom is nasty as hell. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you that it's nasty. I haven't got my um L-glutamine yet. L-glutamine? Whatever it's called. That one. I ordered that too, but I don't get that until next Thursday. But, yeah. It was good. It do. It works good. It's not. It don't taste good, though. But it worked good. But, yeah, that's just me telling y'all about um the um Duck Flower Detox. Try it at your own will. I will be doing it again in six months. So it didn't do me too bad that I don't, I don't want to do it. Because I'm going to do it again. Yeah, because it was, a, it was a damn good detox now. It, it's a a, cleanser, a good cleanser. Dr. Sebi was right about that. It does the job. And I'm going to take it again because I, I had bought two when I bought them. I'm going to take it again. So y'all going to get that video soon in six months but see y'all with the next video i am about to upload a hair video um about my hair products so look forward to that see you guys soon